We were taking the animals for a walk after driving up a mountain called El Cofre de Perote in central Mexico. The road scared off our van friends, but we went anyway. At 13,000 feet elevation, the road started getting even steeper with huge holes. So we looked for a spot to camp. Look like we've came upon a winner. Bit of a fire pit action, nice view. What's up there? I'm into it. I like it when the road ends. Oh shit, you need a Jeep. You can ride. Oh, that's right, Grammy. Wow, so hopefully we can hike up there. We're careful with the elevation. I'm gonna celebrate that. When you find a spot this good, it feels like the clock starts and you wanna see how long you can last there independently. So we decided to drink less water and try and make it last as long as we could. Up here in the mountains, and the heater still works. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, we're up to a pretty good start this morning. Got the bed made. Got the coffee. Ready? Got the set up, the fog is rolling in. Since it's so cold out, gotta probably just do some work. So in this winter environment, gotta preheat the laptop. No mad tricks. Work. We're out here chilling. Good boy. After sweating it out in Baja, California during the first lockdowns, the cool mountain air and seclusion felt like a dream. The time passed leisurely as we decided to rest and try hiking to the summit the next day. Sombrita, our dog who we adopted in Mexico before the lockdown, enjoyed the freedom. But she wants to play with everything. Too many things, really. Whereas our cat, Graham, already knew the drill and loved wandering at his own pace. Grammy! Graham always comes back. He's a smart little guy. Where are you, boy? Around then, Sombrita disappeared for a few minutes and returned with a huge lip, not even whimpering. What happened, Sombrita? Was it Graham? Was it a snake? Got real. We decided we'd better head down and find some anti-venom. The road for going slow, but when your dog got bit by a snake, that is quite the conundrum. So I guess we were coming down too fast. Brake light on, see service brakes. 
everybody. The mechanic says it's okay to drive, but so now it's going to take longer to make the dog a bit. The curve is not conducive. Luckily we made it to the vet before Sombrita got any worse. They started the anti-venom immediately, and the vet, Manuel, ended up becoming a great friend of ours. Although expensive, the anti-venom was super effective and the swelling went down fast. Can I stretch? Yeah. The, the, the past, the past, mm -hmm. the people, the Asians, mm -hmm. traveled to the very stretch. Yeah. And down. The population in America. Mm -hmm. I think the mm -hmm. this dog now is just wow. Is it hairless? Another two hours of the vet with Sombrita so that she can finish her saline solution and her other anti-venom treatment. Sombrita. With the cutest little IV I've ever seen. Yeah. And they even gave her food. <laughs> and they gave us food and water. That was nice. Manuel had been up there many times and said bites from snakes like this one can be fatal for dogs. After the anesthetic, Sombrita couldn't stop licking her numb lip. <laughs> they finished the last antivenom treatment late into the night. Manuel went to the ATM with me to keep me safe and found us a place to sleep, which was really nice of him. She's a little better. But when I first saw her, just out of nowhere, she just looks at me like nothing's different. Like, what am I like, no, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Her face is a little red there. <laughs> you want to play some frisbee? Huggy on fixed steps, so now we'll just give her a little treat. Boy. After all the craziness, we became good friends with our vet, so Manuel and his girlfriend came camping with us that weekend to Pico de Gorizaba. It turned out to be Manuel's birthday, and he brought five liters of microbrew. The camp spot had plenty of free firewood and was also at 13,000 feet. It ended up raining later, so we went in the van and our other fan friends who joined cooked some crepes. Honestly, if those van friends hadn't wanted to head up, we probably would have skipped it since we were kind of done with roads that crazy and mountains for a little while. Anyhow, I'm really glad we went as Orizaba was my top camp spot in Mexico. The next day, Manuel wanted to drive up even farther on the four-wheel drive road. Manuel and Ana the mountain bikers from Jalapa who saved our dog's life with anti-venom and then let us sleep at their dad's house. Very nice. And now they came up the biggest mountain in Mexico with us. Well, you can't have the good times without the bad times. Staying up at Orizaba was all the sweeter for it. We're glad we booked it down that mountain, found anti-venom and a new friend. Sombrita's back to 100 and now sports a badass rattlesnake scar. Traveling with pets is wild. Muchas gracias, Manuel. <laughs> <laughs>